So we're back here on the Duncan Duo Show, and uh, we've got Dave Leninger, the chairman and founder of Remax, and we have Adam Rowman from Boston Regan Hogue. And Dave, um, you know, the, the next thing I wanted to talk about, um, you know, the, the Remax's new TV ads, which, you know, I, I love the ad agency that you guys hired to do the new TV ads, but sometimes consumers come to us and they're like, hey, how does advertising on TV, you know, help me per se? And and I always explain it like this, and I'm sure you can kind of say the same thing, but, you know, if we're if we're running TV ads and people go to Remax.com, I mean, whose listing are they going to find? I mean, our listings are there, and, and it's, it's a great opportunity to expose the brand that brings traffic to the listing, you know, but what, you know, what, you know, what are some of the initiatives Remax is focusing on with, with some of the TV advertising this year to help not just their agents, but their consumers? Well, we do a, a mix of different multi uh, media uh, on television last year. Uh, we had an 83.2% share of voice for all TV commercials on national TV. I mean, that's, that's a uh, commanding lead. Uh, second place was only 10%. Yeah, we show that to every single client. We, you know, we have like a little video and we, we bring that in. We have that, we have the PDF, you know, from you guys that we show to, to everybody because that's such a huge piece of, of, of hey, w w how are you spending money to get people to look at properties? And obviously, in that instance, you're looking at driving them to, to Remax agents, and and you know whether it's the buyer being driven to us and seeing our listing or going to the you know the Remax.com website. Um, I think that that is such a huge piece that other competitors don't really follow. Well, the thing that's interesting is um, we look at the internet. Over sixty percent of our business that comes from the internet comes from uh, somebody typing in Remax. Uh, we have another. 30% that comes in from organic growth because we rank so high on Google and other search engines. And then 10% is a paid search that we pay in addition to the television commercials. We also use a great deal of social media to reach out to people. And then, of course, we have our drip campaigns that you and other top producers use that a lot of times somebody comes, starts looking, but it's three or four months before they make the decision to talk to a realtor. And those things keep us in contact. Uh, we are the number one visited traditional real estate site out there, and uh, the leads go directly to the agent. So uh, it puts the agent and the customer together uh, in a good partnership. Now, how, how uh, remarkable is it for you to step back and look at what's happened with Remax and how business is generated compared to, you know, a few decades ago when you were really, you know, getting the company started, um, how much it's changed is, is, is probably, you know, remarkable when you sit down and look at how consumers used to come in and, and now how they, how they come through today and how much of a role technology has in that. Well, Andrew, that's fascinating. Uh, but it's also interesting to notice how much has not changed. Uh, you know, within the Remax organization, the vast majority of our customers come as repeat customers or referrals. That comes from having fabulous customer service uh, on the part of our top producers. You know, I love uh, that. Was always, always I loved. Uh, Margaret had an interview. Um, it was, and I saw it on the Remax Daily. You know, maybe a few weeks ago, and it, it really, you know, she started talking about the online ratings. You know, all the websites that rate realtors and how you can get so many stars and testimonials and reviews. And she talked about how that was, you know, that was really kind of the new way of ha of generating referrals because even if someone refers you, um, you know, so and and it happens to me. I I had a mechanic referred to me. The very first thing I did was go online and look up the mechanic and see, okay, what are the rankings on this website and this website before I called them. And I think the same thing happens with real estate. It's an it's it's the exemplary exemplary service that gets you those reviews, and then it's. It's a matter of having them out there and then it helping you, you know, complete that referral process and that consumer still saying, okay, I'm going to contact you because I think there's probably referrals that are lost. And she said the same thing, you know, when you don't have that online presence or reputation and somebody says, hey, you know, call the Duncan Duo and they look me up and they don't find anything out about me online or they don't find any sites that I'm on with reviews. And then they might say, oh, well, I'm just going to call this other company. So it's, it's. You know, the online ratings are, are also, you know, kind of changing the game, so to speak. Well, the only realtors that don't want online ratings 
are those that don't have anything to talk about <laughs> or that, that are embarrassed about it. Right. And, uh, you know, we we really embrace it. We, we don't mind being compared to the competition. Uh, we've got the best agents in the world. Uh, when you start talking about web presence, we're the most sophisticated. And, by the way, uh, your website is fabulous. You have done a, a great job for us. The things that you have done with your videos are cutting edge. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, we're going to be inviting you to speak at our convention, R4, next year uh, because we have been reviewing and following that for the last few months. And uh, you are right on the cutting edge. Thank you. You know, and the videos are so cool. They're fun, but it's such a different way. Uh, you know, to showcase a property because, you you know, we involve actors, you know, and you can see them at TampaHomeVideos.com, but we, we hire actors and the actors kind of act out the lifestyle that the home will provide because I think that's really what people are buying when they buy a home. I mean, they're, they're, they're buying four walls, yes, they're buying a structure, but really they're buying the emotional attachment to the lifestyle that it creates and, and that... That technology is changing, especially as you climb the price charts and really start to look at luxury homes and homes in the Remax collection. I'd love to share some of our experiences with, you know, Remax agents across the country that that partake in, you know, the the collection and, and selling higher end homes. Because for well, us, it's 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 been you know really game changing when we've done that for some of the higher end homes. It's gotten them exposure that we couldn't get otherwise, and word of mouth and you know social media sharing and 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 those types of things. It's 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 fun too to come up with new things, uh, but it's just as fun to share them. Well, Andrew, the thing that's it's really interesting is some realtors uh, only have uh, just photos, and they take them with their iPhone. Even some realtors that are a little bit more progressive. Uh, they'll take their iPhone and make a small video clip. But you see, it's, it's amateurish. Marketing doesn't cost. Marketing pays. Right. The question is, do you want to save money or do you want to make money? Do you want to get your property sold faster at a better price? And what you're doing is cutting edge because using professional videographers, using uh, professional actors, there's nothing amateur about it. It really showcases the listing. And the people that look at it uh, want to work with a professional. And, you know, so kind of changing gears a little bit, what do you think is going to happen this year with hedge funds? How do you think hedge funds are going to impact the market? Well, uh, the hedge funds are not going to start selling their properties yet. Uh, they uh, got in at the right price. Uh, and when they do get out, they will get out very slowly, I believe, over a period of time. So, actually, they helped our markets a lot. Oh, they it helped a huge amount here. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. There is just isn't as many properties they can buy at a bargain price, and many of them have spent the money they had to spend. Uh, and that's okay because it, it gives the small investor a chance to get in now, too. Yeah, I agree. I think you're right. I think there's, in, and we've seen that, a huge drop off in the number of transactions from some of the bigger hedge funds. What about. Um, you know, changes to the financing market, you know, anything there that you think is important for 2014? Well, I think the most important aspect is it's stabilizing. The interest rates are still unbelievable lows. I mean, I've had a career over 50 years, and it's lower than it was back in the 1960s, and that's just remarkable. Uh, appraisals are getting easier to get through, uh, which has definitely helps. Uh, credit scores are uh, uh, allowed to go down a little bit further. I mean, there for a while you had to almost have an 800 credit score, and now you're down in the average of about 740. So uh, the banks are being a little bit more cooperative. They're understanding what the federal regulations are. Uh, they're a little bit more comfortable with putting more money out. And so uh, long term, it takes another year or two to settle out completely, but it's sure a lot better than it was three years ago. Yeah, and I agree. You know, and and I think that's that that trend is going to continue, and I think we'll see more and more people, traditional financed buyers, versus our market had so much cash last year, and I think that's gonna that's gonna start to dry up with the hedge funds. So, w the last thing I wanted to get to before um, you know we go to our last segment and and let you get back to enjoying Arizona, R I think sometimes um, you know Remax's philanthropic pursuits are just remarkable. Um, you know, Remax raised eight point two million for Children's Miracle Network hospitals in two thousand thirteen. 
All-Star teams. I, I was amazed at the auction you guys had. Um, some of the items and some of the people, you know, so contributed to giving, so focused on giving back. And, you know, you and Gail kind of set the standard for that, you know, f- from top-down leadership of saying, hey, this is what we do. And I think people have followed you. That's something that we, we obviously promote how great Remax is in terms of, you know, our, our agents, our marketing and all that. But something I think that sometimes goes unnoticed is, is, is how focused on giving back to our local communities, um, you know, that Remax is. And, you know, I want to commend you on, on what you've done. Cause I think it's set a great example for me as a leader to, to, you know, to really say that's something I need to do more of. Well, uh, people like to do business with people who are involved in their community. And when you look at realtors, uh, it's kind of a unique business. We live in the same neighborhoods we sell. Right. Our our kids go to the same schools. Uh, our families go to the same churches and synagogues. I mean, we are part of the community, and uh, we're the beneficiary of goodwill of uh, hundreds of thousands of satisfied customers. I mean, it's it's mandatory that we give back. One one important point. The eight million this year now totals almost 140 million since we uh, became a sponsor of Children's Miracle Network. The thing that's interesting is most of the other sponsors sell things, and uh, like Dairy Queen or Walmart, and the customers really paying for it. At Remax, the agents commit to give part of their commission, and every single dollar we raise comes directly out of the agent and their commission. Yeah, we give out of every we give to Children's Miracle Network out of every closing at our company, and I think for us it's it's um, we we've we've had two agents um, be impacted and have uh, kids at you know, at the local um, you know hospital in St. Pete for Children's Miracle Network, and and for us, you know, you're helping kids, and imagine how many kids' lives have been saved and, and impacted with 140 million dollars you know being given over all those years, and. So, well, Dave, I appreciate you coming on the show. We'd, we'd love to keep having you on, and, and uh, it's, it's, it's great data and great information for our listeners so they can, you know, kind of hear from, from somebody that's been in, in real estate for, you know, a lot longer than me and, and you know, and I think a great opportunity for our listeners to get information and hear about what's going on in the market, hear what REMAX is doing. So thanks so much for, uh, for jumping on the show with us today, and I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of uh, your time in Arizona. And, and uh, again, thank, thanks so much for everything you do. Andrew, it's always a pleasure. You take uh, care. Thanks, Greg. Have a great one, Dave. So, again, you're listening to the Duncan Duo Real Estate Show. We're going to be back after a quick break. We're, we're going to talk. Um, you got a couple other topics to discuss with Adam Rauman from Boss Origi and Hogue before we wrap up the show. And we'll be right back after a quick break here on 970 WFLA.